Hey, what is going on guys? I'm gonna show you how you can airplay or basically screen mirror your new iPhone SE directly to your Samsung Smart TV, okay? Samsung Smart TV. Now, first thing to note, in order for this to um, airplay, that your Samsung Smart TV model needs to be uh, 2018 or above. Another thing to mention too is just like if you have like an Apple TV hooked up to a TV, the Apple TV and the iPhone uh, needs to be on the same Wi-Fi network. The same thing here applies here. So the Samsung TV and the iPhone SE need to be on the same home Wi-Fi network. And you can see how super responsive this is. It's pretty much kind of like having a um, Apple TV that's built into the uh, Samsung TV here. So first thing is how do you airplay or mirror it? Well, with the iPhone SE, what you want to do at first is bring up the control center. So from the bottom here, you can just swipe up. This is the control center here. And you can see right here, now it's connected to my Samsung 7 series. Let me just go ahead and we'll stop mirroring. And now we'll go ahead and mirror. So I'll swipe up and I'll tap on screen mirror right here. It finds my Samsung 7 series TV right here. Give it a second here. And we are in business right here. Now the thing is, if it's um, not working like this, then what you might have to do is go ahead and go into the settings of your Samsung TV. So let's go ahead and click on the, uh, the home button here. We'll click on the home button. And then we'll move all the way over to the left. And we're going to go to the gear icon for the settings. Move over left, left. And then right here, here's the settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on enter on the remote. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to general. And then I'm going to go ahead and move over. And you can see it says Apple AirPlay settings right there. Okay, the Apple AirPlay settings are actually grayed out on mine. And the reason is because I'm currently uh, mirroring right now. So let me just stop it really fast. And now we'll go ahead and we'll go back to the settings. We'll go down to general. And now you can see Apple AirPlay settings. It's no longer grayed out. So go down there. And the only thing is you have to make sure that AirPlay is on, okay? You can see that currently have it on and you can require code first time, um, subtitles, captioning, captioning right there as well. Anyways, once you have it on, it doesn't matter where you are on the screen, just go ahead and swipe up the control center, tap on the uh, screen mirroring and your TV should show up. My Samsung 7 series right there. Give it a second here. Oh, there we go. We are mirroring here and of course we can go ahead and bring up a browser here and you can read the news, you can do video calls. Of course, you can um, show work documents and um, we can go to photos here. You can show all your photos and videos locally here. I'll show you some photos here. Of course, you can zoom in and out as well. Oh, here's a video right here. Let me go ahead and Thank put the volume up. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you can hear that the audio is actually coming out from the uh, TV itself. It's not coming out from the uh, iPhone here. Anyways, that's pretty much how you do it. Again, if you want to go ahead and disconnect, just bring up the uh, control center. And then now it should say the uh, name of your TV here, my Samsung 7 series. Let's tap on that and tap on stop mirroring right there. And there you go. Pretty simple.